I'm going to do an exercise for Wright Patterson Mahjong using the 2020 Green Book. This exercise is called Charleston Chain Reaction. The purpose is to test your instincts with your decision making during the Charleston. We're going to do it two times and we'll pick plan A and then we'll set up the Charleston again with the same tiles and then do it again with plan B and then we'll compare results. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to choose which player we are by selecting from these four cards, East, South, West, North. We have the same set of cards with prevailing on it to determine which wind would be prevailing. We're going to be north. South is prevailing. Since we're north, we're going to get 13 tiles, and then I'll create a mock Charleston. We have a pair of V's, two, four, six, eight, nine in cracks, pair two. We have a four, eight in bands, a six, seven, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? When I first saw these tiles, I was thinking one suit and honors, but then I noticed we have a lot of evens. Look at that, evens. We have way more tiles with evens than we do one suit. Let's see, there's eight that way, and then we have nine that way. I guess that's not way more, it's one more. Either way, we didn't use the seven. So I think what I would do here is probably say, one suit and honors. It's so much more flexible. And then maybe plan B could be little two, four, six, eight. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo. And this way we can try both and compare results. So this is the starting hand. We're gonna try one suit and honors. So let's pass four, seven, eight. We're going to take a photo. We got a four and a north. We have three tiles to pass. One suit and honors. This is a little bit risky. We have two pair. We don't need ease unless we were, were to play a hand of a, um, a gate hand, but north and south are prevailing and we have a pair north and south. We're north and south is prevailing. So we're not going to be able to use this pair of east. For a pair hand with winds, we would need singles. So maybe we can pass east seven eight and hold those razzle number six five pairs with news we'll take a photo we've got a red dragon we could maybe play betty 
we can pass those. With Betty, we wouldn't need the nine. We need one more pair, and then the other Winds and Dragons, of course. We'll take another photo. So we have a South. I would try for maybe Betty here. Winds in North, East, South. We need a West. News with one of each of the dragons. And then any one of those paired where that East might have been nice. But here we have two pair. We just need one more. Or we could play Razzle, five pairs with News. So I'd say we have three discards and options. I would say that was a, a good Charleston. We might be a contender for this game. Let's reset and see what happens if we had gone with little 2468. This is what we started with. So let's try for little 2468. We don't need the 9. We need all even. So we really don't need the 7 either. So let's pass these three. We're just going to keep all the evens. We have 2, 4, pair, pair. We don't need both. This would be pretty risky. I don't think I would pass that. Let's see here, two, four, six, eight, four, eight, six, eight. We need twos and eights because we have to have a pair of twos or eights. Since we have a four, let's let this four go. Because you need one number punged in two suits. You know what I was just thinking? What about one of the hopscotch hands? Scotch hopper, no, scotch hopping, two, four, six in one suit. Scotch hopping, number 56, two, four, six in one suit, four, six, eight in a second suit, two, four, six, eight in a third suit. You don't need pairs with two pairs of Windsor Dragons. Okay, scotch hopping. I don't think I would try for a scotch hopper because we have only one seven and we'd need a pair of ones or nines. We have one odd. I think I would stick with little two, four, six, eight and maybe let the four go. The other thing I was thinking is we could play one suit and honors and hoard cracks but we're trying to compare. So we're gonna try for a little two, four, six, eight. Let's just see how it goes. We got a two, a red and a nine. Two, four, six, eight, two. Let's see here. Let's look again at scotch hopping. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Or we could do four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. And then we would need two pairs of any winds and or dragons. Keep those. So we would have to discard those three. I think we might be closer to scotch hopping, but we have to let go of two pair or one pair because we already let the four go. I think we should go for scotch hopping. Still in even hand. We got the six. Well, and we have an option for the wind and a discard. I think that worked out pretty good for 2468. 246, 468, 2468, 
two pairs of winds and or dragons. I would say this is even closer than one suit and honors. I'm surprised. That was interesting. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write, write it in the comment section below. Would you have gone for evens or one suit and honors? When you first get your dealt hand, target the strength of the hand. Typically, that is going to be most of your tiles. If you have options where you have seven tiles or more toward that option, I would say that should be plan A. Plan B could be the other option. And then go through the Charleston and see how you do. You always have the option to switch as long as you don't have any exposures. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.